Hey guys, Matt DeWitt from MWD Adventures, back with another video. Today we're going to head back to Pennsylvania, the home of HTC E4. If you don't know what that is, that is the hiker trailer annual camp out that we host somewhere in the Midwest every year. We're going to have an overview video. We'll link that down in the description below. So take a look at that if you want to get yourself caught up on what the event's all about and more information. But this video is going to be traveling back and talking to the owners. We asked them a few questions. One question is, what's your favorite modification for your trailer? The second question was, if you could go back and build yourself a new trailer, what would you have added or deleted? So with over 75 trailers at the event, there was no way we were going to get around to filming all of the trailers throughout the weekend. So we apologize if we didn't meet up with you and get a chance to talk to you one-on-one. -on -one. We'd love to see you next year. So let's jump in and dive in going back to HTC E4. I have Josh and Lindsay here with me. So you guys have a really cool setup. You're here with a Tesla, so you're drawing lots of attention with that. But to start with, what is something on your trailer that you wish you would have ordered that you did from the factory? A screen door or a door with the window that you can have access to a screen to okay. let air and... A little more air yes, flow? a little more air flow. I, I guess it's just really nice to be able to lay in there and mm -hmm. look out. It's enjoyable, yeah. especially when you're out in nature. So. so what is a mod that you've done in your trailer that you're really proud of? Uh, the pull-out kitchen drawer, for sure. That is really it's cool. The most useful. Mm -hmm. yes. So you're able to pull out the sink and the stove. Correct. And have access to all of that. Mm -hmm. And then over time, we'll add a pull-down table to where we can kind of just create like a big open area nice. for our kitchen space. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Well, thanks for sharing off your trailer. We appreciate it. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. I have Mike and Lena here with me. So how old is your hiker trailer? Uh, this year, we got it in April. Awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So is there anything you wish you would have ordered or anything that you did order that you feel like you don't really use? Uh, no, I think that what we ordered, we're very happy with the options mm -hmm. and I can't think of anything that we wish we would have ordered. Yeah, right? or yeah. regret it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So everything no, we ordered is... We're happy with it. We're very happy yeah. about it. Very Perfect. useful. Yeah. Yes. And then is there any mod that you're really proud of and would want to show off? Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and what is it? It's, uh, I ex did not finish off the galley wall. We had it open and I extended uh, the floor in the gal in the, mm -hmm. the back, made it a much larger storage area. Nice. So, yeah. And then you've got storage from the inside to get to it or just from the back? It's hard to explain. It's from the back, but it created what we call the nightstand on the inside. Yep. And we put some uh, drawers Drawers? on it for okay. store, uh, well, storage for clothes. clothes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. nice. yeah. yes. All right. Well, thanks for sharing your trailer with us. Oh, you're very Thank welcome. You. Thank you. And you. nice meeting you. Yeah. Yes, you too. Thank you. I have Michelle and Steve here. They are the expert hikers. They have been out on the road for what, six months pretty much? Ten months. Ten, Ten months, months. Mm -hmm. okay. So what is something that you wish you would have put on the trailer or something that you put on the trailer and you wish you didn't? I don't think there's anything we want. We got everything we wanted. I thought we would want the um, screen doors, but we didn't get them. And actually, we didn't need them. So, um, we got everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. And is there any mod that you've done to the trailer that you're, you'd want to show off? Just our shower house, that's all. Uh, it, it, it's a two room Jolka shower house with the, we have a fet port porta potty in one and it's a cassette toilet so it's easy to empty. You can dump it in a vault toilet or use a dump mm -hmm. or put it in a compost bag and put it in the trash. Do you, you have one of those trash room type things on the front of your tire? No. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Because I'm still afraid of animals getting into it. Yeah. So mm -hmm. we we use uh, just a, a trash bag, a simple little trash bag, and we take it in and dump, put it in, you know, any trash can, mm -hmm. a little bag. Yeah. And you do it daily and... You're good to go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, well, thank you for showing your trailer off. We appreciate it. Not a problem. <laughs> Glad to be here. <laughs> I have Ross and Cody here with me, with me, um, and they are going to be leaving and adventuring in their hiker. Um, you're selling your house yep. in the process? Yep. Yep. yep, in the next month and a half or so. Yep. Yep, we'll be on the, on the road full time. Very cool. Yeah. So what is something that you either 
didn't order on the trailer and you wish you had or something that's on the trailer that you're finding that's not really that useful for you? Well, I think we're still trying to figure that out. We've only had the hiker for a few months now and uh, we have done quite a bit of exploring, but yep. since we knew we were going to be living out of it, we went balls to the wall with the options. So, so far we've been happy with pretty much everything yep. um, that we've gotten. So we're still trying to figure out what is it that we still need. Yes, yes. <laughs> well, when you can do it, like living it full time, that's a whole different ball game than just a weekend or a week oh, or two here. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So what is some mods that you've done to the trailer since you've gotten it? Well, uh, since we've gotten it, we've put the Rhino Rack, uh, I believe it's the Pioneer platform. Um, we put that on there and here in the next couple weeks or so, we're gonna be putting uh, bigger Pelican cases on top to help with storage. Definitely. Uh, yep. Extra clothes, cooking, stuff like that. Yeah, and we'll probably eventually do some galley work. Um, Ross's dad does some woodworking, and yep. we're thinking of making some sectoring panels to keep the electrical away from all of our mm. galley yeah. stuff. Yeah. Another little additional protection on that. Yeah. So, yep. Yeah. Very cool. Well, thanks for sharing yeah. the Yeah, trailer. thank with you. Us. Yeah. I have Christian here with me. He is well known as Rough Roads on YouTube. Um, what is something that you have gotten from the trail from the factory that you would change or something you wish you would have gotten from the factory? Okay, so I definitely love everything that I asked for. Mm -hmm. um, I wish that the tongue box was available on this model. And one thing I probably wouldn't have gotten is the pass through. Um, I don't find myself using that the way that I thought that I would. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, overall, I love the trailer. Uh, it's been great from day one. Good. And shout out to Bob. And I do this in almost every video. He gifted me this awning. And uh, thank you so much. It was related to uh, his love for the vets. And uh, let's keep that going. And what is it that you're saying you're thinking of doing for the vets with your trailer? Uh, yeah, so uh, when the trailer is complete and I've got all the kinks worked out, I want to be able to drop it at a local park near my house and have some of the vets from Long Island um, actually stay over with, let's say, their son or daughter or mm -hmm. their significant other in order to, um, you know, spend the night in the trailer, enjoy the accoutrement mm -hmm. and uh, bring some food, barbecue, do their thing um, for, the, for the guys that don't have this yeah. opportunity. That's very cool. Yeah. Very cool. Um, what is a mod that you've done to the trailer that you're proud of? So one mod that is super important for me was the fact that it, the trailer wouldn't fit inside my garage mm -hmm. with the awning at a, at a normal level. Mm -hmm. So this is the height that you'd want the awning to be. And in order to, for it to be here, it wouldn't fit inside the garage. So I made these brackets here, ah. which are telescopic. I did all the welding, painting, wow. mounting myself. And the entire awning comes up seven inches in order to be, a, and you repin it and, it and it's usable. Yep. And then when I go on, as soon as I'm done with it and I want to hit the road, I bring it on down Very and cool. I travel home with it in, uh, and in a down position. And then you get it in your garage. It slides into my garage. The batteries are in, are in a box right okay. here below this. Okay. There's a small amount of storage here. Sure. All of this, all panels come out if I needed to. Like the the idea of this was to be extremely modular. Sure. So I could just take this apart, and this uh, shelf is down on some cleats. I could take those screws out. So the whole thing is removable. Cool. Very and, cool. And you know, just for servicing if necessary. Yep. I did a lot of experimentation. Um, so is that a swing out hinge? What's behind that that you need it hinged for? Well, the, if you, yeah. you can, if you, when I open this up, yeah, I got all the, all of my circuits for my refrigerator, the tongue box, oh. all of the things are all separately circuited. So I don't have to run it all. Yep. So like when I'm on the road, the only thing running is the battery feeding the refrigerator. Okay. Um, the main DC is distributed out of that uh, distribution box that's right here yep. and then the main power is here and I'm running the whole thing through a smart shunt so okay. you know what that's all about yep. Yep. yeah so I can monitor and everything's good to go like that very cool with with all of my LEDs running through the whole 
place and all of these ancillary lights and everything all powered up i'm yep. still only sucking with the refrigerator minimal wattage i've got days of power okay. still the only thing is as soon as i turn on the uh inverter box now yep. power starts to drop Draw quickly yep. yeah yep. very cool well thanks for showing your trailer off okay great hi i'm mike grove and Teresa Grove, and we're from the Hocking Hills. Some of you got to visit last year. The mod that we have done that we liked is that we did some custom wood blances uh, to hold the curtains inside. Just something different, one of, uh, that's just for us, but we could do it for anybody, but we did for us. And uh, the one thing that, if, if we was to do it again, we would probably go with a nine footer or a 10 footer. It's amazing the amount of space that you gain with that one or two feet. But we're satisfied with what we have, and maybe one day we'll get a 10 footer. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. I have Sheena, Hunter, and Aubrey here, and they have an extreme off-road trailer. Um, what is something that you wish you would have put on your trailer that you did start with? Um, maybe the airbag system would, would probably be the, the major consideration. Uh, would be the bag system instead of least. So that you could lower it to, to get it into your garage. Yeah. So you're like inches yeah, half an inch it's, it's so close <laughs> and then what is one mod that you guys have done to it that you're proud of um probably our shower yeah. um just because it's nice we can pull it off so that it clears the fender so that oh so you don't have to be so close fender. to the trailer yeah especially because you guys your fenders come out the, all the way the back right well all it is is one by one tubing that mounts to this the back side of that and then comes straight down and then these mount the tv mounts to it <laughs> wow that is clever. So, no, we've only had it for like 30 days, so we're... Yeah. Like, You're still working on yeah, tweaking it to make it your own? Oh, yeah. There's a lot more projects. Very cool. Well, thanks for showing us your trailer. Of course. I have Chris and Lauren here with me. So what is something that you would have added to your trailer now if you are reordering it? Um, since we have the 5x10 trailer, the, uh, the, the factory crossbars that come from Hiker, they're, they're spaced pretty far apart, and you can't really utilize those for bike racks or anything. Probably would have added the third, third uh, extra um, crossbar just to be able to utilize. Yeah, you know, shorten up some yeah, of that space. Shorten thing. that distance to allow to be able to use like the cargo carrier, kayaks, that sort of stuff. It just would have been easier for us if we would have done that from the beginning. Yep. Then what's the mod that you've made to your trailer that you're proud of? Oh, we've we've really done up our, our galley. Um, we've got a pull-out fridge back there. We've got. Um, two tables. It's in, it's in a very unique design. I haven't seen anybody else with a hiker yeah. do this design. It's a nice kind of L shape yeah. for the kitchen. It, it makes the flow of cooking and everything work a lot better. So that's probably our, our most proud aspect that we've added after the fact. Nice job cool. back there. It looks yeah. good. Yeah. It's a nice working kitchen area. So it's cool to put the table there. That is yeah. very interesting. And then so when you I just need, mounted the rail there. Yeah. And then at night, oh, whenever. Oh, so you got two tables. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even pay attention to this one. Yeah. And then. Um, if we're at a campsite with shore power, I've got I've got it plugged into shore power. But if I need to throw it on, if we're on the road, I can put it on fridge and it will sure. it'll power the fridge via yeah. the battery. I got a I did not buy the Hiker electrical package. Yep. I added a hundred amp hour energy heated battery okay. after the fact, and I kind of did my own Good thing job. in there. <laughs> it's been working out pretty well. I can make it happen. So, basically. Because we've got our son who's two, we've got bunk beds inside. Okay. We didn't, ideally I would have had placed it on the inside, but because of that, there was not really any room to do that. Sure. So um, I needed a waterproof enclosure for it. So I picked this up at Home Depot. Um, we got the Zero Breeze in here. Zero Breeze also provides a 3D print file to, for the for the vent here. So you're actually, so I'm actually drawing in the air from the cabin and then putting cold air back into the cabin. So it's doing a really good job of removing the humidity, which is the biggest thing for this. So, um, but it's not waterproof. Yeah, the, well, the, the, this, this unit is not waterproof, okay, so but, but, with, the, but with this is, it, it is it is waterproof. There are holes in it, but what I found it in the rain, the, it doesn't really penetrate those holes at all. So I'm not too concerned about it. And if it, it is a bad rain, I'll just put a piece of plastic over it. Yep. And it works pretty well? It does, yeah. You can see the pool, the, the brown spot right there on the ground. That's all the moisture that has been pulled out of the ground. Yeah. Okay. So, 
All right. Well, thanks for sharing your Thank trailer you. with us. Yeah. All right. So I have Jeff and Diane here with me, and you guys have quite the trailer that Thank you've you. built out to most of it yourself. Mm -hmm. So is there anything you wish you would have gotten from Hiker to start with or something that you did get that you, you're not really using? Well, actually, something did occur to me. I wish I had the off-road extreme frame. Okay. But in a lower elevation platform that would work behind my truck. Oh, yeah. We went back and forth on that, and mm -hmm. I actually had uh, initially set up for that one, and I figured out it wasn't going to work, so I could have my tailgate down my truck. Mm -hmm. Yep. So that's when I stepped back to this one. And so is yours the XL? XL. Okay. So we're perfectly happy with what we have now, and it has lots of clearance underneath. Mm -hmm. um, but I just like the, the hard mounts around protection So you can step wise. on things and get step up on to things. the rough. And, yes. Yeah. But that's it. So, okay. and I'm not missing that at this point. So. Oh, good. Yeah. And what's a mod that he's done to the trailer that you really like? I like my silverware drawer that mm -hmm. pulls out. It makes it very organized and just like home. And it's right where you need it. Yes. Right yeah. under the cooking. Yep. Mm -hmm. so. All right. Well, thank you very much. We met up with Darwin last year at the HTC E3 event, and we filmed his trailer then. But Darwin had a really cool kitchen mod. We didn't get a whole bunch of details from it, but he wanted to show it off to us. So we're showing it here for you guys to take a look at. Basically, he's got an area that he can stow the stove inside the cabinet, and then the whole thing pushes into the galley. So he's got extra storage for utensils and so on, and allows the stove to be pulled out and away from the trailer and away from the galley area itself. It was a really cool mod. Then he took the time on the front face of it to put a little stenciling in and put a little uh, outdoor kind of tree scene on the front face of it, just to add a nice little touch to it. So I have Cindy with me. And what is something that you wish you would have added to the trailer that you did to start with? Um, I kind of thinking I would like to have the moonshade awning or an awning on the other side. So when you get out on that side, cause that's usually the potty side mm -hmm. and uh, that way you don't get wet getting out. Uh, but I travel with a, you know, a smaller tow vehicle. So I have to watch my weight. So, you know, there's certain things I couldn't have that I would have liked to have had. Yeah. But, you know, so I guess big on my wish list would be bigger tow vehicle, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and then is there any mods that you've done? I see you've done a lot of decorating. Yeah, just the decorating. I'm not too mod savvy. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I want to, I'm hoped to, at the, at here I hope to learn a little bit more about a, the electrical. I'm a little... Um, intimidated by that because then I see all the posts where I, oh no I did this and now nothing works and I feel like that's what I would do and then you know nothing would be working anymore so I hope to get a little less intimidated by the electrical and you yeah. know and the use of the solar and different things like that because I have a Jackery and I haven't had it out yet because I'm not sure mm -hmm. how to use it or what to do with it or um, you know, watts, volts, amps, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm right there with you. <laughs> All right, well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Hi, I have Jeff here with me. So what is something that you wish you would have done differently on your trailer from uh, the factory? I wish I would have put the Max fan instead of the regular fan. Okay. And um, lift kit would have been nice. <laughs> As you can tell, you're hitting the awning. No, I'm, from too, <laughs> I'm too tall. <laughs> yep, you went with the highway. Deluxe, yep. correct? Deluxe. Okay, yep. Because I do a lot of traveling, uh, you know, I went up to Maine, mm -hmm. want to do a California trip. Nice. Glacier National Park. I do the national parks. Okay. Nice. nice. I don't stay in campgrounds for weekends and stuff. I go campground and campground while I'm traveling. Mm -hmm. Cheapest way to go. It sure mm -hmm. is. Yeah, definitely. Um, what's a mod that you've done on your trailer that you're proud of? Um, I've done this, uh, the solar panel toolbox. Basically did everything. It was almost a sh just a shell. Okay. That's kind of the nice thing about a hiker is you can get a very simple and you can add on yep. what you want to from there. So. Uh, all I had, all they did was uh, ran the wiring and you know, I uh, put the battery in the toolbox and ran the wiring underneath to the battery. Okay. Very good. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. You have a wonderful day. Thanks. One of the cool things about the hiker trailer camp out is that we get to see the same people every year and it's fun to catch up with them, see how they've been enjoying their trailer and their camping for the, that summer. 
One of the things that we did is caught up with Celia here. She ended up taking her fenders and buffing them up and ended up putting kind of a Rhino Linex type product on them. She also used the same product in a gray kind of matte finish for the front toolbox. Really nice touch, nice upgrade. So I have Bob and Aline here with me. Um, how long have you had your trailer for? Uh, May 2nd we picked it up. Okay. Yeah. So is there anything that you ordered from the factory that you wish you didn't or something that you wish you would have ordered from the get-go? Oh, it would probably be the air conditioning. Okay. Because, you know, we got the max fan and the solar. Mm -hmm. We're happy with that. Yep, definitely. But mm -hmm. as of right now, just the, the AC unit. Yep. And is there some mod that you've made or done to your trailer that you really are proud of? Well, you well, did we, the we just started. Table. I made the little <laughs> shelf that goes on the fender. Oh, yep. The and we hung some side. lights up on the, on the inside. Some twinkly lights. Gives you a little ambiance in mm -hmm. there. And they change, you know, yeah, different kind like of oh, cool. design, like a sparkle and oh, a blinky. And that's. Depends. <coughs> but we're very happy with in the inside. I mean, mm -hmm. as you see, you can put a lot. Yes. We, There's a lot of storage. Definitely. I mean, we, we put I'm your. I'm amazed. Like uh, the hypervent, hypervent in there. And <laughs> good. Yep. We and have not had any issues with condensation. Yeah. Yeah, since we're we put so that in far there. So good. And basically, yeah. we've, we've just been waiting for the camp out mm -hmm. to get some ideas before well, we did before mm -hmm. we did anything. Rather well, than and sometimes it's nice just to kind of camp in it a few times to figure yes. out how right. to use it. Yeah. Right. Right. Yep. Well, we've already we've only done two short trips close to home. Okay. And. Mm -hmm. We've changed stuff around we're getting better. so it's we're getting better. We're getting there. Yeah, it's always evolving. Oh yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But it's so. fun. We're enjoying yeah. it. Well good. Good. Yeah. All right, well thanks for sharing your trip. Okay. Oh, All thank right. You. Well thanks for stopping okay. by. Yeah. All right, I have Ken and Jennifer here with me. You guys bought your trailer off the showroom floor. So you had them make some adjustments. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, are you happy with what you've gotten at this point? Yeah. I would, yeah, I would say so. Is there anything you would add at this point, if you could, or wish you would have been able to, if you had ordered it yourself? And, you know, we thought a little bit about the solar at the time, but, you know, the price was going up. Yes. So we're, mm -hmm. And that's one thing that we're playing around with a, a little bit here, and more to learn about this weekend yeah. here. And it's definitely something that can be added on down mm -hmm. the road if you need to. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. If we had built one, the galley being the deeper shelves, Okay. Um, yep. so that, that would have given us a little more storage space back there, more... Yeah. more to do with back there um it was just what was part right. of the showroom mm -hmm. yeah yep and how much time did you save by getting out the showroom versus ordering it at that oh point? it took us a month to get it because we had them add the black plating and the propane tank and the tape side table okay. so like three and a half weeks and we went back and picked it up otherwise it would have been eight to ten months yeah. that's what they yeah. were telling us at the time yeah, yeah. that's a big yeah. difference yeah, yeah. And it, it took us three and a half weeks to get there i think they were done close in seven or ten days oh okay. yeah yeah just because of work schedule mm -hmm. so yeah. definitely shave time off mm -hmm. and is there some mod that you've done on your trailer that you're proud of <laughs> yeah um because of the mattress, we had some space up in the front and kind of proud of building this little uh, storage space and uh, shelf in the front here. Very nice. Cool. All right. Well, thank you for sharing your trailer. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, after I had ordered it, I watched one of your videos when you got your new camper. Mm -hmm. And you were saying, uh, yeah, we got solar because the truck. I'm thinking. Oh, what's this? I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. And then I knew the truck had the trailer had the seven pin connector. So to yeah. me, seven pin connector charges the battery. Right. You know? Yeah. And then uh, I called them and uh, they said, no, no, it doesn't. I said, oh. And by then it was too late. My, mm -hmm. my trailer was almost finished. So, yeah. uh, but you so said your, your son is helping you come up with some kind of a. My son-in-law. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to attach a solar panel to the bars. Okay. and we'll connect it to the side there and nice. hope, hope it works yeah because yeah. i don't need a lot of powers just for my light and the, and the fan so yeah exactly okay. which yeah. doesn't draw too much yeah one of the things i got an extra was that fan and mm -hmm. i'm very the happy with that nice. yeah yes that's that's really something yeah uh the second door we had some discussion about the second mm -hmm. door on the facebook page and i'm glad i don't have it but if i was with somebody else i would I certainly would have it. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much. Okay. You're welcome. Nice meeting you guys. You too. And, uh, yeah, yeah. 
I have Karen and Ed here with me. So you guys have a mid-range mid -range, uh, 5 by 9 5 by 9 Okay. Yeah. Um, is there anything that you would have added to your trailer that you didn't or something you wish you didn't add to the trailer? We probably don't use as much of the lights as we as we thought we would so mm -hmm. far. Uh, but otherwise, I think we're very happy with everything that we have. Yeah. And we did add this wheel. Okay. Jack and that's jockey, the good. The arc jockey wheel. 500. I think it has a, there's a 350, a 500, to 750. Okay. Sort of the mid mid one. Yep. Very helpful for. Actually, we, we our driveway is pretty tight, so we, I disconnect it, and I'm able to do a an internal, you know, yep. jog, you know, wheel it around in my driveway and give them, give It's them nice it. that the trailers aren't too heavy, so that you Absolutely. do have that yes. ability to do that. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, so. Well, that's All our right. favorite. Yeah. Well, yeah. good. Yeah. Thanks for letting us come and talk to you. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you for putting this whole thing together. Yes. Definitely. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I really appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. Wendy and I just have to say thank you for all who participated in the trailer tours and allowing us to walk around and interview and take pictures and share this experience with everybody who doesn't have a trailer, who's considering a trailer. This hopefully will help you decide what are some of the things that you're looking for, what are some of the things you want to add, what are the, some of the things you don't want to add or maybe change before you put your trailer order in. It was absolute blast going around and seeing all the modifications, talking to people, hearing the stories, and just sharing a good time with like-minded individuals that have the same sense of adventure as what Wendy and I do. We have a lot more trailers to come, so continue to watch the channel for part two as we go back to Hiker Trailer East E4 Mod Edition.